Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here. I am. Welcome back to another video. Today, people, today I am going to be discussing the Greninja banning. Now, this ban, I, I didn't really think should have happened. In my opinion, a lot of people wanted him banned, but in my opinion, I don't think it should have been banned. Uh, as you can see, it was a very, it was a landslide for much. You can't, it is just these stats. Like, 205 to ban, 44 not to ban, 82%. I don't understand why people want him banned. Yeah. It was a very good special attack here and attacking Pokemon, but then that frailty comes in. And I'm going to show you guys some stats right here. You see, I got up. And his base stats super fast Pokemon, outspeeds a ton of Pokemon OU. A lot of Megas now because Mega most Megas only have base 100 and 110 speed, which is kind of weird. I don't understand why Sakurai would have done that. And, uh,. I don't know if Game Freak still makes Pokemon, but then he has a pretty good special attack and attack, but that frailty again. You gotta watch that frailty. Greninja does outspeed, but if you have a choice Scarfer, that just counters him right there. You can't get do anything against that. You can Oko him. You can't do anything at all. Uh, then this move pull comes in, which this is probably why people want him banned. Plus, on top of that, as you can see, he gets a protein ability right here, which... Yeah, he gets stab on everything pretty much. Um, but thanks to Greninja's move pool, of course, also, he could run spikes and then you can go ahead and run toxic spikes and toxic and even scald for that stab attack while you're setting up. And then he gets a lot of other attacks that he could run too. Like he could be a mixed attack with gunk shot and low kick, gunk shot and low kick that he got in Oris. Um, and then you can go ahead and run Scald and Ice Beam up here. But that that's why they banned him. But again, the frailty, that's why I don't think he should have been banned. He's going to be crap in Ubers. I know people don't worry about that after he's banned, because he's out of Ubers and everyone's like, okay, metagame has changed, we don't need to run counters to Greninja anymore. But that's pretty much with anything. If everyone just starts stops using a certain Pokemon in um OU they're gonna, of course, just take all the counters out because they don't need them anymore. They're gonna be used to counter still, but not as much. But that's pretty, again, that's pretty much with any Pokemon. If you take any Pokemon out of tier, you're not gonna run it, the counters to it that much anymore. Uh, but again, with Greninja, yeah, there weren't very, very many counters to him because of that, those two move tutor moves that he got in Aorus Gunkshot, which counters a lot of fairy types like Florges and also, um, What's its name? Clefairy and then Azumarill, but and also with the low kick, you take out a lot of good bulky normal types and dark types. Uh, but again, that frailty, that's why I don't think he should ban. ban. I'm going to go show you guys some damage calcs here. As you can see, I got one up already. There is Jolteon, a very good counter to Greninja. He has that speed to outspeed. He's got the special attack to hit. And then Thunderbolt Okos easily. Greninja can't do anything against that, against that. That's one counter. And you could debate here. You could say, well, you could just switch out Greninja and kill Jolteon with another Pokemon. But you could pretty much say that with anything. Like, if I have a Dragonite that is strong against another dragon, and Dragonite's faster and has a D-Dance, you could go ahead and say, well, I'll just bring out, like, Umbreon or something, I don't know, a bulky Pokemon, and kill your Dragonite and then bring out my other Pokemon and sweep your team after. You could say that with anything, you can't really say that as an argument, because it works with anything. You, Of course, the Pokemon, if you have a counter to a specific Pokemon on your team, like Jolteon to Greninja, the person with Jolteon on the team, their team, they're going to go ahead and they're going to support their Jolteon so they make sure it doesn't die so it can take out that Greninja later on. Like, you're going to have the protection of the counters on your team. You're going to have protection for them. So you can't really debate that. Now, another good hard counter to Greninja is Mega Mainetric here. I wrote Mainetric wrong. I don't know what I'm trying to spell. Where's Mainetric? Oh, it's with an A, okay. But, as you can see, Mega Man Estric here, it doesn't know its speed when you first go Mega Evolution, but when you either put Protect on it instead of Volt Switch, which I do run and a lot of people do run now because, of course, Man is just going to get killed no matter what if it doesn't Mega Evolving at that speed. As you can see, uh, Man speed, 
before he owns Mega. It's only 105, so of course, everyone is going to be running that Protect, no matter what. You're going to outspeed anything after. It's just a normal move on Mega Manetric now. But, back to his attacking moves. Mega Manetric, he outspeeds, of course. He's going to have Protect, everyone runs that. And then, he also has the high special attack, which is going to kill Greninja. Like, if you run Volt Switch instead of, Volt, instead of Thunderbolt, you're going to kill. If you run Thunderbolt instead of Volt Switch, you're going to kill. It, just no matter what, Greninja can't do anything against this. So that is still a counter, even though Low Kick does that much and Gunshot doesn't do that much either. As you can see, do that too, but he's not going to outspeed, so it doesn't matter. Now, a counter that people said was worse or yeah, was screwed after Greninja got low kick. Uh, I don't really think this myself, just cause this is a normal set for Greninja, the speed and then special attack, well that's not gonna be max special attack, uh, you're gonna change that, but it's gonna be, usually have 44 attack, cause it is a mixed attacker and people want the special attack instead of the attack, cause it's not very, Pokemon that are gonna be taking the physical moves. There's gonna be a lot of Pokemon weak to the special moves from Greninja. But as you can see, it does do 41% low kick on a Chansey. If you usually, usually people would run max or max um, HP on this thing. So if you run that, it's only going to do 38%. And on top of that, we're not going to seismic toss this thing to death, the Greninja. We're going to put counter on the Chansey. And this I've seen a lot lately, just because it works very well on Chansey. If you're going to go ahead and run the low kick, on the Greninja, well the chance is going to be running counter now, and if you do a counter right after that low kick or even the gunk shot, yeah, Greninja's not living, Greninja's like bye bye, you don't have to worry about it anymore. That's why I still believe that Chansey is a hard counter to Greninja, the counter. The counter is the just amazing move that you could run. Same on Blissey, like, I don't really know if Blissey can live a low kick really. It still lives a low kick, and that's 55 attacks, so... If that gets hit, if that hits the Blissey wall, then it's screwed. Like, you, Greninja can't do anything. You run counter and Blissey, it's it's gone. Even if you run 252, it only does 60 per 68 percent. Oops, only does 68 percent, and then Blissey is the counter and Oko's. Now, if you're run, also running, you're not going to run an Adamant Greninja. He's not going to outspeed anything. But even if you run an Adamant gonna Oko no matter what so those two Pokemon are still a very good hard counter to green ninja and that's why I don't think he should have been banned again because he has four counters right there and he still has tons like if you were on Gyarados which was a hard counter to him now gunk shot isn't going to do that much to him extra sensory a movie he had before even does more still wait let's run that actually yeah, it still does more than extra sensory. So Greninja or Mega, um, or G Gyarados right here. Sorry about that, guys. I had a brain fart horribly. But Gyarados is still hard counter no matter what. It's, I don't know. People don't didn't really see these things. I'm guessing, and that was the cause of his uh, banning, probably. But that's pretty much all I have to show you guys today. I could keep on doing damage calcs if I really want to. But I'm going to allow you guys to discuss this in this comment section down below. You could bash on me. You could dislike this video. I'm just saying my opinion here. And usually that's not a very good thing to do on the internet. But I just wanted to get out there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, shoot that like button with a comment right now.